bonjour à tous. Um, today I am eating biscuits and drinking milk and freaking out about how much work I have to do. Two of my subjects have told me that I have to give in a, a 10 to 15 page dossier of stuff, which sounds a lot to me like a dissertation. So since I'm not going to tell you about everything I've done this week, since most of it has involved a lot of pressing of keys and, and shaking of heads and blah blah blah, I will talk to you about my favourite French words, because I like words. In fact, one of my subjects is um, typology, in which we've been looking a lot at kind of etymology stuff, loan words and borrowing and um, the way languages interact with each other, as well as how languages can develop themselves. Actually, biscuit is a good way to start this. Biscuit in English is taken directly from biscuit en français, which means twice cooked. Some of you may already know this, so cuit is cooked and then bi. So the word will have come from Old French and been transferred over to England and then become some kind of beautiful concept with chocolate in the middle and a little man on the front. Sorry, you're not a man, are you? You're a prince. Some words, of course, have gone from English into French and I think the more recent ones are more interesting here. Two of my favourites are actually phrases, all kind of they're one lexical unit, but they're composed of many words, so... Last week I was telling you about uh, nightclubs. I find it quite amusing that the French word for a nightclub is une boîte de nuit. Well, literally, uh, une boîte de nuit is a box of night. So you collect the night into a small space and put it in a box, and on the door you put an annoying bouncer who sometimes doesn't let you in just because he knows you're English. Inside the boîte de nuit, you will find, instead of the dance floor, la piste de danse. Uh, those of you who are familiar with skiing will recognise the word piste. It's like a... I think it's like a runway or something. So it's not like a dance floor, it's like a dance runway, which, if anything, is even better than it was before. Other French words, which are awesome. I really like the word quasiment, like almost or nearly or like partially or something like that. I also like the feminine form of the past participle of create, because it's créé, and as you can see by the spelling, it has a succession of three E's, two of which are accented, which I don't think you can find pretty much anywhere else. Of course, we can go back to the old faithfuls as well. In school, when we were learning French for GCSE, everyone liked the words bâtiment, that sounds like bâtiment, uh, that's building, and of course the classic tired. I am fatty gay. So with that very short and possibly immature little note, I will be off. I apologise for the lateness of this one. The internet in our halls decided to just die over the weekend and it's today, it's Saturday. I doubt it'll be back before Monday. So if you're seeing this before Monday, some kind of miracle has occurred. You go back to whatever you were doing. I'm going to go back to my milk and my biscuits. Interestingly, all of the milk in France in supermarkets is UHT. So it's like all long life and stuff, and it's kind of weird tasting. Merci d'être venu et santé, mon semaine.